Really big news, the SAT essay and SAT subject tests are no more. The College Board just announced that they are discontinuing the SAT essay as of June 2021, and they are discontinuing the SAT subject tests immediately for domestic students, and they are running them until June 2021 for international students. So the upshot is if you're registered for the SAT essay in March or May, upcoming SAT sittings, you should probably cancel it, get your money back. Um, from that point on, the only people who might take the SAT essay are those for whom they have uh, in-school tests where they're required to take the essay. But even in that situation, the essay will not be relevant at all for college admissions. Uh, and so if you've already taken the SAT essay, very likely that score is going to have basically no effect. So, you know, whether you send it or not, it's not a huge deal, but certainly moving forward, you know, if you haven't taken the SAT yet, no reason to do the essay that is gone, finished. Don't have to worry about it. I have to say, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it just, it, it became more of a hassle, I think, for, for students, for teachers and tutors, for colleges. It wasn't really doing much. So I'm very happy that they got rid of it. Subject tests, I'm a little bit more ambivalent about. Uh, I can kind of get that they're redundant compared to APs, but you know, I think there's some there's some value to them perhaps outside of the AP setting, especially if your school doesn't offer APs. It gave you an opportunity to you know d differentiate yourself. Um, internationally, the subject tests were pretty important, so we'll see what they're going to do there. Again, if you're an international student, you have until June 2021 to take the subject tests. Beyond that point, they will not have any more subject tests. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it, it, I think on the whole, it's probably for the best. The College Board's moving towards AP, so it, it makes sense. But yeah, so if you already have subject tests, I guess you can send them. I mean, colleges probably aren't going to look at them anymore. I mean, many colleges didn't really weigh them heavily anyway. If you haven't taken them, then you're off the hook. As for ACT writing, obviously we don't know what they're going to do with the essay for the ACT. My guess is that they will at some point follow suit. They will no longer offer the essay. Um, so what should you do now if you're registered? You know, maybe, I guess, take it just in case. I mean, if you're on the fence, probably you shouldn't take it. But I would probably advise my students to this point, unless they have a really clear reason why to take the ACT essay, um, to not do it. And like I said, I think sooner rather than later, it will be announced that they're getting rid of the essay as well. So that will make the decision pretty easy. So all in all, some good changes, uh, welcome changes. It's nice not having to do with the SATS anymore. Subject tests, maybe miss them a little bit, but I think in the long run, it'll be best for, for everyone involved. So I think a good call by the College Board. They also, there were some rumblings that they might be making some other changes to the SAT, perhaps related to like online SAT or being able to maybe take single sections like the ACT is eventually gonna allow you to do. So TBD on that, we'll keep you informed as any news comes in. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments, and we'll see you next time.